Hello guys, today we're doing more Skyrim mods, and today we're doing Valforge by Mika Ghost, and <clears throat> not, a, not a giant mod, it's about 1.1 megabytes, um, really, I, I didn't have many problems with this mod, um, however, it, it wasn't one of my favorites, now, it has a, sh it has a ton of stuff, and it's really well done, and I really enjoy what they added, the only problem I liked is, or I, the only problem I, I liked, the only problem I found with it is that it's laggy. It is. Now, Skyrim is notorious for frame rate lag, and we're still in the loading screen. So, I mean, uh, Skyrim is notorious for low frame rate drops, la lagging, all that kind of stuff. But what I found is that the frame rates continuously like lag when I play this. And now the Valforge entrance is already available on the map. It's near Markarth. It's just south of Skyhaven Temple. Um, I thought this was really neat. You could fly, float up like in, you do in um, in one of the villages in uh, Solstheim. So yeah, you got a nice view of everything. You got the you got the orc stronghold right there. You can already tell that the frame rates are already lagging slightly, or not lagging. The frame rates are already dropping, and that that's just the only thing. Like if you don't have any problems with frame rate lag, um. I definitely recommend this mod to you because this house is really well done. It's really cool. You don't have to wait through, go through any loading screens to get to it. But uh, the frames just consistently drop every now and then. Um, it's pretty consistent throughout the entire time I was exploring this mod. Um, it isn't a, a huge problem. The mod has a bunch of stuff. Um, it has a cloud sh cloud storage save system, with, so that's really cool. Like it means if you go to in one chest, you can come out and grab it through another. So I thought that was really cool, and then you have these trophies you can place everywhere like you can in Hearthfire. Uh, I really liked this part over here, what they did with the dragon statues. They made it so the shrines run, and we'll look at that more later. But uh, I thought that I thought that was pretty neat. That I mean, the house is enormous. There's the cloud. There's a cloud chest. Uh, there's nothing in them. Any of them really? I only checked that one though, so I'm not really sure. There's an upstairs and a downstairs to this place, so I'm going to do the upstairs first. First and foremost, so yeah, immediately right off the bat, you see some cool things. Like you see the dwarven centurion just chilling there in the fountain. I thought that was really cool, and you, you know, I, I got mesmerized by that giant ass safe. <laughs> so that's why I sort of stopped and did a double take. Uh, but really, this place is pretty much pretty phenomenal. I mean, I I could never do any of this stuff, so I can't really criticize too heavily on it. But uh, yeah, you got your own little, you got your own different parts to the area. Here you have all the alchemy and uh, enchantment stuff, which I usually don't focus much on alchemy, but I focus on the enchantments because the enchantments can come in really helpful. So and there's the enchantment stuff, and I thought that was really cool. You got the little stuff from, you got the mushrooms from the, uh, I'm not gonna be able to think of what it's called right now. Oh, well, Black Reach, there we go. And you know, it really, you got a mini uh, tree from White Run there. Yeah, that is, uh, this is all from the Rift Run, Rift Run? No, not, I'm, I'm struggling, Rift Tin, I, I don't know why I struggled, Rift Tin, that's from the Rift Tin house, because those are all sitting on a table in the Rift Tin house, um, you know, familiar with that, really, I love this house, like, if this house didn't have such frame rate lag, I would love to have this house, I would Truly think this is I truly think this is a good mod. Like it has the bookcases. I thought this I think this is awesome. I you know I don't have to deal with the loading screens of getting into the game. You don't have to deal with loading screens of getting into the house. I think this is all really well done. I, like I said, the only problem I found was that it had the frame rate lag and you even have some stuff from the Thieves Guild. Uh, I've been playing with a bunch of other mods recently. Uh, just to kind of go over what you'll see next. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll be doing a video on it, but I did the Dominion's Orc, need more, or more Orcs, which adds about 10 Orcs to the game and NPCs, which is really cool, I really enjoyed that mod, I definitely recommend it, but uh, we'll get on that later, because now we're at the Armory, the Armory is pretty uh, pretty neat, uh, it's just a typical Armory, you got training stations over here, you, on the left you have an Archery's Post, but uh, it's just a typical Armory, it's nothing out of the ordinary or out of the blue it's pretty cool uh, there's not much to it yeah just kinda wait for myself to move along uh, but kinda going on this more orcs one it is pretty cool as it adds a bunch of orcs so it adds two to the college of winterhold it adds 
to the Dark Brotherhood, which I thought was really cool, because it kind of expands the Dark Brotherhood after they get kind of wiped out effectively. Uh, it expands pretty much everything. It adds, like, two orcs to every big city, and, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. I just doing a shout-out, I guess, to that. Uh, but yeah, you got that uh, Elder Scrolls, like, kind of lighting up top. I don't really know what that means, what that does entirely, but I thought that was really cool. And, um... Uh, I think honestly the coolest part of this entire place was the shrines and you know the views are always nice like the view is nice and everything like that but there's not really much to it but the shrines definitely like definitely hit like I thought that was pretty cool like you as soon as you walk up on the shrines they all light up pretty much it's just like it, I thought that was really cool and just kind of like they didn't have to do something like that but I like that I thought that was really cool and they don't do anything and the etched tablet doesn't do anything either but you know you, all the shrines work you know and really this is a good effective mod I I liked it it's not one of my favorite mods like favorite houses but I definitely liked it I mean you know tell me what you guys think though I mean this is this is the house I want you guys opinion if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe guys it helps you know if you like more I hope you guys come and check out more stuff I'll see you guys around though peace